Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the week of April 18th. This week, you start off with the Six of Hearts. This comes up, uh, I think, for Cancer all the time now. So that is a very good thing. Uh, Six of Hearts represents finally being able to like put energy into things and get it back. So if anything in the past, you know, if you've been trying to put energy into things, like maybe you're trying to move or maybe you're trying to, you know, get a better job or improve your business, whatever the case is, and if it hasn't been working out or hasn't been working out in the past, now's a good time to like finally put energy into it and get that back. This is also a good uh, love card as well. It can represent like meeting up with somebody on a mind, body, spirit level and really plugging in with each other. So it's a very good love card for love. Could meet somebody who's uh, you know very, very good for you. And I'm just looking at your other cards here. And you do have the nine of hearts as well, which is another great love card. So it's definitely uh, you know there's definitely a lot there. Uh, this card is also about overcoming obstacles as well. So again, like I said, it, it's kind of the same message of finally being able to put energy into things and getting it back equally, if not better. Next, you have the Lovers in Reverse. Uh, this deck that I use has four of the Major Arcana from the Tarot in it. And uh, Lovers in Reverse is about um, not lining up with your values, um, doing things maybe that don't line up with your values. So maybe you're t taking on a job or taking on a position or something that really doesn't kind of line up with what you believe or maybe you're not sure what you believe like maybe you're at one of those points it's, it's a very spiritual time right now even like some of the astrology is very spiritual so maybe you're trying to decide on your values and, and you can't for whatever reason maybe there's some blockage there so this is about when the lovers in rever is in reverse um you know it's a great time to like really think about what you believe what your values are and um, make sure also that you're truly lined up with your values maybe you're with somebody who doesn't even uh, line up with what you want like maybe it this can be a time where the universe is testing you and, and just bringing some, the same old type of relationship back into your life that you're sick of but you keep getting dragged into so this might be you being like wait a minute you know this isn't really what I want anymore. So this can also be a test from the universe. So just watch for those sorts of things. Next you have the Nine of Hearts, which is a great card. It's a wish card. It's tied to like the Nine of Cups and the Tarot. So it just simply means getting something you want, getting something you've been wishing for, having something you want to have happen, happen. Uh, it can come up a lot when uh, things get a little bit easier for you as well. Um, so, you know, if, if you've been going through a hard time, this can be, um, you know, things getting a lot easier. It can also represent the ending of a relationship in a lot of ways. While this is a very positive card, it can still represent the end of some sort of relationship. So, I mean, I keep getting this message for someone out there. So obviously it's important for somebody watching this, but, um, you know, of you possibly just being in the same old relationship that's like exactly the same. Uh, and this might be for several of you. Uh, and, and this could be you making that decision. Like, I don't want to be in this type of re relationship anymore. Uh, next, you have the Queen of Spades. Uh, Queen of Spades is a very good card. It's a card of um, mastery, being really good at what you do and things like that. Uh, and it's also a card of maybe needing to be a little bit mysterious as well. You have two nines showing up here, which is interesting because the odd numbered cards, usually there's something missing with the odd numbered cards. They, the cards, like I say, they want to be even numbers. They want to be balanced. Uh, and, and sometimes at, when I see two nines, because nines are actually rather positive cards. And if I see that like mixed with something with the queen of spades, which can represent mystery and being mysterious, you might be put in a position position this week where it would be better for you to kind of like keep your mouth closed, maybe where not to, you know, kind of not reveal too much. It might be better for you to be a little bit mysterious this week with somebody or some situation, maybe like a new business or a new job. It might be better for you to kind of like just listen this week and stay in the background because that could have some sort of benefit. You know, you might hear something, you know, by being quiet, basically, or that kind of benefits you because these nines that you have, you have the nine of diamonds at the end here, are very beneficial nines. They're, they want to help you out. And the nine of diamonds is all about new things coming to you, um, new ideas, better ideas, uh, uh, better money coming to you as well. It can, this can even be like a big check coming in to help you out and things. But I really get the feeling that like somehow by being mysterious, by being hidden, it's like maybe uh, and not talking. Sometimes when you don't talk, people just talk to you and that, and you know, they'll, they'll just spill their guts to you. And that might, you know, give you some insight or something that really helps you out this week, especially with this nine of diamonds. This nine of diamonds is always like a little bit of help 
coming to help you out. So and that's what it feels like to me. So very interesting week. I would say rather successful week. Good week. Good week for love, even with the lovers in reverse. I, you know, I'm one of those. I really don't think that the lovers has to do with love necessarily. I think that the lovers has to do more with choices and than love. Uh, so it still looks like a great week. So thank you for watching and enjoy the week.